Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you a wonderful recipe that could be the centerpiece to your dinner table this year for Easter. It's a classic American dish. It's ham, but we're doing my honey glazed ham that it is famous around here because my friends absolutely love this and it's a must whenever I'm sort of having a gathering around the holiday season. So for example, for Thanksgiving, I always like to have a Friendsgiving the week before because you know how it is around the holidays. You're so busy with family, you don't really have time to spend time with your friends. So I like to have a holiday the week before just for us friends. And I usually do it for Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas, you know, big holidays. And this ham is always on the table at the buffet line because let me tell you, Divine isn't even the word to describe how good this is. It's incredibly simple and easy. Of course, the star of the show is going to be your ham. And what this is, this is a fully cooked, spiral sliced, hickory smoked ham. Got that? So it's fully cooked already and it's sliced already for you, so that makes presentation easy. Because if you know anything about me, that you know that I'm one of the world's worst carvers. I can't carve anything properly, so having the jump done for me is awesome and you can I buy like this right in my grocery store okay so let's get started I'm gonna show you the uh, ingredients for the glaze in a little bit but for now I'll get your oven preheated to 350 and what I have here is a disposable baking dish here just an aluminum foil pan and this is great and this is a tip that you need to use anytime you're working with something that's got like a sugar glaze or something because sugar can burn and you don't want to ruin your baking dishes. So disposable ones come in handy every single time. So that we get the uh, oven preheated. I've got some aluminum foil here. I've got my ham ready. It's time to pop this in the air. Put it face side down or cut side down, however you want to call it. And then I'm just going to wrap this really well with my aluminum foil. And this is going to go into the oven for, it's at 350. You want to put it in there for about 15 minutes a pound. Remember, this is already fully cooked through. All you're doing is heating it through all the way. I'm going to pop this in there for about an hour and a half. And then after an hour and a half is when the fun starts, is when the glaze goes on. So, this is ready. I'm going to pop this in and I'll show you how to make the glaze in an hour and a half. My ham was in the oven for an hour and a half and I just took it out. I removed the aluminum foil. Now this just needs to go back in for about an hour and it will be donezo. Now let's get going on to making the glaze, which I hate to tell you how incredibly simple and easy this is, but before I show you the ingredients, I don't want to hear, oh, there's so much sugar, there's so much honey. Just remember that this is a huge ham. It's going to feed a lot of people and you need something sweet to counterbalance all that saltiness. So. You'll need some brown sugar, honey, and some ground cloves, which for me are absolutely essential to ham, to honey ham anyway, because I love this, you know, when you get a beautiful honey glazed ham with, it's got, it's studded with cloves all over it. I love that, but I don't like chewing on the actual pieces of cloves. It's a personal thing. I don't know why. I feel like they get stuck in my teeth and I just, ugh, you know, I just want the flavor. I just don't want to chew on it. So that's why I always add a pinch of ground cloves. Works beautifully and I couldn't imagine honey glazed ham without it. So I've got my saucepan here. I'm going to add in my brown sugar and a good amount of honey. You're looking for about a cup of honey here. It is a pretty big ham. It's going to feed a ton of people. I love leftovers. So no shame in this game. So I'm just going to squidge it in there. A little honey beer is going to be empty. That's okay. All right. I think that looks good enough. And now I'm going to add in a pinch of ground cloves. Now don't go too crazy with this because these are very, very strong. I'm just probably going to put about a half a teaspoon in here. It's been a little small. There you go. And all I'm going to do is just Heat this together until, un, until, until the sugar starts to dissolve. You don't need to, you don't need for the sugar to be completely dissolved. It's still going to be a bit grainy. You just need it for it to become a bit more liquidy so you could pour it all over. Trust me when I tell you, this ham will make you go crazy. So, let me just continue on doing that so we can get it on the ham and in the oven. That's looking good. There's a few more chunks of sugar in there, but who cares? If they burn on the tin, it's a disposable one. I just need to get this on the ham so we can get into the oven so I can get it in my belly. Okay. 
Just pour this all over the top. I like to do it slowly and kind of open up the slices a bit. You know where I'm going with this. I can't help it. I feel so naughty when I do this because I know it's going to be sweet. No, it's going to be salty. Mm. Love it. Now this looks like a lot, but just know that it's going to cook, a lot of it's going to cook off the ham. All right, so now uncovered, you're going to pop this into the oven for another hour. But at every 15 minutes, you need to baste it. So take a ladle, take those sweet and salty juices, pour it over the top every 15 minutes for an hour. We're going to let it cool to handle, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finally done. My ham was in the oven for about an hour without the aluminum foil over the top and I just baste it every 15 minutes and I just, I want you to take a second, take it in, look at the caramelization on this gorgeousness. Look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful. The outside, it's not burnt, so don't, don't fear. It's just that, those sh that sugar, brown sugar in the honey, I'm dipping into the juices. I have to. I just must. Mmm. That is the way ham should be. I mean, look at that baby. Look at that baby. You want to cut off, when you're cutting ham, when you're cutting your, your slices of ham, you don't go all around. You cut it in pieces. I'm going to cut this piece from myself. Look at that. It just pulls right off. I don't even have to bother cutting it. I'm going to go in for some dipping. I always put those juices in a little like gravy boat because people love it. Really, really love it. Mm, 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 mm. Do me a favor. Hop, get it? Onto laurainkitchen.com, get this recipe because trust me when I tell you the Easter Bunny is going to love you for this one. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.